Welcome back to my channel today, friends. I have a Trader Joe's haul, a Home Goods haul, and a Whole Foods haul. I hope you guys enjoy. Stick around to the end and let me know what you think. Here's a little overview of our Trader Joe's haul. We're going to go ahead and start here. I picked up the Trader Joe's Roasted Red Pepper Hummus. My kids love this, particularly the younger ones. Chips, crackers, anything dipped in it. They absolutely love it. Never tried this, obviously. I've never been to Trader Joe's, but it looked amazing. The garlic and Asiago cheese dip. Cheese dip. So we picked that up. We went ahead and also picked up this bag of chili and garlic cashews. We love cashews all the ways. I also picked up this Trader Joe's peanut butter protein granola. It says it has 11 grams of per protein per serving, so I figured that'd be great on top of yogurt. My kids love to snack on seaweed, so I picked up the six-pack count of the organic roasted sea salt seaweed. We also picked up a bag of the plantain chips. We've never tried these or any plantain chips, but I'm sure my kids will like them, so we're going to give them a try. We also picked up a bag of these organic blue corn tortilla chips. We picked up a salsa here you'll see that I thought would be great with it. I also picked up one of these elderberry kombuchas. I'm in love with kombucha currently. And then I ended up picking up two different cheeses. I got this Toscano cheese with black pepper. It looked amazing. And then we picked up this Italian truffle cheese. Oh, I'm so excited to try this. Uh, seeing these at the checkout aisle, I thought I'd give them a go. I love mints, so I figured the green tea infused mints and the chai tea infused mints. These look like neat, something fun for the kids to try. They're little fruit leather buttons. I think they were like 89 cents a pack, so they seem pretty decent ingredients, so we're going to check them out. I got these Trader Joe's, I'm not sure what that is, but cookies. I think they're just like a shortbread type cookie. Uh, we bought a lemon curd that we're going to try these with. I also picked up my daughter two of these miso instant ramen noodle cups from Trader Joe's. One spicy and one is not. Give her those as an option for an after school snack. She's been on a noodle kick for months now. We also wanted to try this maple pecan clusters cereal we got. It says a blend of oat pecan clusters, corn flakes, and multi-grain flakes. Look delicious, so we're going to give that a go. Just a pack of regular old organic pasta. It looked like a cute shape. I've heard of this before. I want to give it a try. That's why we got it. I also picked up two, uh, two little pouches of their gnocchi. We love this. You'll see here in the back I got some pesto. We're going to do a pesto gnocchi one night, and it looks delicious. So I got the olive and basil pesto sauce. We also picked up these three spices, season and mix. So it's a pizza sprinkle, a cheesy season and blend, and then we got a sriracha sprinkle. So I'm excited to give these a try. These just look delicious, great snack. They're the mini almost everything bagel sandwiches. They're filled with cream cheese filling. So we're gonna check those out. I also picked up a bag of the Sunkissed Blood Oranges. Those looked good. We were almost out of popcorn kernels, so I picked up a bag of the organic pop popping corn. This just looked like a nice, easy Italian night snack on the side. It's a cheddar jalapeno pull-apart bread. It looks delicious. So we picked that up to give that a test. These looked fun. They're cinnamon bun inspired JoJo's sandwich cream cookies. Little heads up, we already tried those. Delicious. We are also having tacos tomorrow night for dinner. So we picked up the habanero lime flour tortillas. It's a 10 count. It says they're medium hot. Excited to try these. Again, I've never been to Trader Joe's, so I'm not really sure what this tastes like, but I'm sure it'll be good. Here's the lemon curd that we picked up for the little shortbread cookies. And then this is just some caramel sauce. Never seen it, never had it. Figured that we'd give it a go on our homemade uh, ice cream machine maker. And like I said, here's the cookies. We're going to try that with the lemon curd. So I'll have to report back. I also love all things sourdough. So I picked up a thing of this San Francisco style sourdough bread. And then a six count of these raspberry mousse cakes. We haven't tried these yet, but I'm super excited to try them. I thought these would be awesome for the kids to snack on. There are the oatmeal cranberry dunker cookies. Heads up, these are also amazing. We also picked up the Way More Chocolate Chips Cookies. 
mini chocolate chip cookies loaded in chocolate chips. We also went ahead and picked up these gnocchi and gorgonzola. Uh, gorgonzola. I've heard of other people buying these and they're supposed to be amazing, so we can't wait to try them. We also got this. I do believe this is basically a cheese or a, a blend of cheeses and peppers. So we wanted to check those out. I wanted to give you all a closer look at these spices here in case you're interested in them. We also ended up going to uh, Whole Foods and Home Goods. So here's my Whole Foods haul that I got. I picked up four different kombuchas. These four here. I actually tried this purple one right here. The Hibiscus Citrus. I like them. I, can, I would definitely buy them again. So I got four of those, and then we got their little 12-pack. Um, you can pick a pound of goodies for like $12.99. So that's what that is. It's just a variety of snacks and pastries and cookies and whatnot. I picked up a pack of these instant rice vermicelli noodles for my daughter for her little noodle concoctions that she's enjoying making here lately. I went ahead and picked up these um, sweet and, what are they, sweet chili a fried shrimp. Oh, heavenly. Absolutely heavenly. So I got a whole side for the kids to have when we got back home. It's about an hour away from us. This looked like neat pasta. I'm going to make a chicken noodle soup out of it. So I grabbed that. I also grabbed a container of lobster bisque. All right. So on to here. This is our home goods haul. We needed some chip clips. This seemed like a good deal. I do believe it was a 12 pack. So we picked them up. Two candles caught our eye. I only have one here to show you. I already lit the other one. One was Salty Seas and then Laundry Day. This Laundry Day one, we're going to go ahead and put it downstairs. I also been needing a four cup measuring cup. I only have a two cup. So I thought this was a good deal and we went ahead and picked that up. I figured for $7.99, couldn't go wrong. Again, Pyrex is a great brand. We also thought this little pizza cutter was neat. We're always rolling through pizza cutters. We use them a lot. So for $3.99, it was worth a shot. I also found this Lodge grill pan. I don't have a Lodge grill pan at all yet. So for $14.99, it was a good deal. So I picked that up as well. I also picked up these. They're roughly five foot long, and three and a half feet wide, I do believe. Ivy uh, Twinkle Lights. So we picked those up for $12.99. We're going to put them above our red bed in our room. Sorry, I can't talk apparently. We also picked up a box of these Bobo's peanut butter and jelly little granola bites for $7.99. My kids, I don't believe I've ever had these. I'm sure they'll love them. Picked up a bag of this five different color Easter pasta. I thought this was cute. Fun little Alfredo dish for the kiddos. Again here, I'm sorry about the camera angle. I don't know what I was thinking, but it's all I got. Uh, we also picked up for $7.99 the cilantro lime salsa. So we're going to try that with those organic Trader Joe's uh, blue tortilla chips, corn tortilla chips. I also picked up a 40 count of these Yum Earth organic vitamin C pops. They're just a healthier version with no dyes um, of lollipops, you know. So kids will love those for little treats here and there. I also wanted to pack the uh, pick these up. They're called Joy Ride. They're zero sugar, no dyes uh, for my son, Bryson. He is a type 1 diabetic, so these will be good for him. Heads up in the future here. He loves them. Uh, we already had went ahead and decorated for St. Patrick's Day, so I needed some fresh towels for this year. So I picked up this three count. I have a friend that loves anything Disney, and this, for some reason, reminded me of her, so I'm going to give it to her. Uh, Sarah, if you're watching, this is for you. It's coming. So it's the Ariel little uh, Ray Dunn dish, and I think I paid maybe $12.99 for that. I'm not exactly sure. So that was cute. I also picked up this uh, jelly beans for Easter bowl. I have the other set. I collect different ones for $4.99 here for different holidays, different cute sayings. So I added that to my collection. I'm getting ready to up pot a few of my plants. So I found this planter here for $14.99. It's ceramic. It's a really pretty blue and gray speckled. So I thought that was cute. So we got that. I've also been in the market here for some tablecloths. I roll through the tablecloths. My kids dirty them, so they're constantly going in the wash. So this one here was a Rachel Zoe oblong, which is our table. It's beautiful flowers and kind of vintage look. So I picked that one up. Um, I think it was $19.99, so we'll give that a try. 
And then just a standard white one, easy to throw in the washer and give it a quick bleach. It was also uh, $19.99, I do believe. I needed some metal um, spatulas and all the utensils for my um, cast iron. So we picked up this 10 count here of stainless steel utensils. Uh, we had a set of ramekins, but some of them have slowly gotten broken. So I seen two matching sets and that'll give us eight ramekins. So we picked up these two of the four counts at $5.99 each. I want to make or attempt to make creme brulee and I needed a whole set to do that. So we grabbed those. All right, so here's a little overview of our home goods haul. I thought we got some neat things. I think we ended up spending a total of like $280 there. I think there was a couple other things here that aren't pictured, but they are for a birthday. Uh, so we're not gonna show those because my kiddos do watch my videos. Oh, I also got this mortar and pestle. Been looking for one. Oh, so excited to try it. Oh, and I also forgot I got this uh, Easter mug for $5.99. It's a taller one. I don't have any of the tall ones. It says hop along. So I thought that was cute. And then I'm going to put my metal utensils into this utensil holder. It says my kitchen, my rules. I have two other ones. I have one for wooden and then one for random things. And then this one will be just for my stainless steel. It was $7.99. I thought that was a good price. So we checked that out. Of our buggy, that is. We ended up having lunch at the Mellow Mushroom in Charlottesville, Virginia. Highly recommend. I absolutely loved it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Up next is the gardening one that's long awaited for. Coming up. Have a good day.